So here we are, the wipers. And there, just the wipers. Ribble's head wired up, as you can see. It's not so bad now, but when we got here, we're chucking down. So we did the only natural thing we could do. Have a coffee. So I'll put it on again in a bit. And we should see some nice mood at black and white pictures, hopefully. Right, so at Ribble's head fired up. There's behind them there. And we're heading up there. There's a bit of foreground interest to our shots with the cameras. Nothing like a bit of uh, foreground interest to tickle your taste buds. Make the foreground more interesting. <laughs> so, keep watching. There. Yeah, I'm with a uh, air tipping photographer. Like going up to a wave. And as you. Oh. Oh. Alright. Yes. Got. I'm not here in a minute with the, the wind. But the ribbles head fired up. Reports coming in, we may have found a pothole. So we're just going in, have a look. So we've got a little entrance. And there, you see Andy, the intrepid explorer. Down this side. Do you know something? I think this is the one my dad took me to. It is. Straight over from the car park. Down there. And there's one there, and you can actually go under there. I think I've been in there with my dad. Yeah. It's probably a little bit too dangerous to go in today. Blood ball. So we found the uh, the entrance to the pothole. So, amazing place. I think Andy's. Are you going in? No, I'm not going in this weather. You heard it here. Flash flood alert. Flash flood alert! Better just stick it to the normal flash flood alert. It's not far down there, so... I don't think I could have reached. I'm not going to like that. So we've just taken some shots, which I'll put in the vlog. Some awesome shots of the cloud. We'll do a, apply a few filters, give it some dramatic look. And we're just heading over to the Ribble Head Viaduct. Try and get some scene shots over there, or even some moody shots. I think some black and white ones contrast with the play on there. So, I'll turn the camera off and we'll see what happens. So I'm debating whether to buy one of those head camera holders and then I won't look, have to look back and hold you up here in the corner. There's a kit you can buy for about £15 for the... similar to a GoPro but obviously after the £15 So, this is where we're going. Over to the... Do you know something? I think that's where we've been with my dad. Yeah, dad, have a look at this. That is definitely where we've been. Because I once asked him, how do you know there was a cave there? And his reply was, there's a bush. Wherever there's a bush, there's a hole. <laughs> or something like that. I'm sure I've kind of exaggerated that a bit, but you get the gist. Yep, there's definitely a bush around the hole. So we're away from the bush and the hole. The light's coming over now, the sun's showing itself a little bit. Yeah. But unfortunately, 
We're going over there. So it's uh, starting to rain again. It's just a little bit windy and it's a little bit windy. But look at this, guys. Waterproof shoes. Oh, oh, fantastic. Yeah. All the gear. A big idea. But, East Enders, Coronation Street, the bill, Star Trek, outside where you want to be in the evening. Leaving all the good areas. Getting piss wet through. Hey, ho. Why not? These are the it's things. Ah, These are the things he catches his eyes. A lovely flower. That picture, that's awesome. <laughs> I yeah, could take it at night! <laughs> but this one, this little flower here. You just about see it, it was the one right. with the bridge yeah, in the background. Yeah, but you can't tell the bridge thing. Yeah. So that's uh, some of the shots we go for. I think we just point it and if you click and then eventually you'll find some of the store out. So, camera chucked into my jacket here. It is waterproof but I never like to take that chance. But look how much it's chucking down. This, this is the uh, fire duct. Let me just wipe it. The fire duct. And uh, absolutely in fields of rain. But well, I just keep on smiling! <laughs> Hang on, I think the snow club You're a bit wet. So at the moment we're hid, sheltering yeah. behind the viaduct, Ribblesdale viaduct. Ribbles head. I'm sorry, Ribbles head. I keep saying Ribblesdale. You can see it. Absolutely. Waiting for the sunrise. Yeah. Waiting for the sunrise behind Ribblesdale viaduct <laughs> near Malham. Look, the other sheep up there has got the same idea as us. Coffee cat. Anyway, we had a few good pictures. His lens keeps getting salt wet through with time to get them out. So it's tucked in my jacket. I look like the left nipple's pregnant. And we'll see have it. if it stops. Yeah, we're okay, so. so this is back from the fired up. We've got the, the old flask going. Coffee. Got a Starbucks jacket. Rossi right. coffee. Coffee, coffee. I've got normal uh, Aldi special, and I've got good quality. That's cafe, cafe. So what we learnt from this journey? Um, an umbrella. <laughs> That's about it. Those cameras are here. I've manned them a jacket, so it's a it's dryish, but they are waterproof and sealed. The lenses are sealed. It's an Econ Z7200, we've both got them. I'm firing off a 1870 lens. I think Andy's on a 1870 lens. <laughs> Same lens. But he's got a little condom on the end. Hood. Hood. So, keeps his lens a bit dry. But it didn't work today anyway. The rain was blasting down on us. Catch up on this room. Make sure the van's level. Get a bit warmer. And then Maybe we saw a bit more later. Then we finish the dark off. Just to see what I could see. Probably the nuggets. Well, it was a, a big wide world out there. Big box of two nuggets, though, isn't it? Yeah, two nuggets in that box. <laughs> Filled with sunshine and a sky with air. And the world it said with a small still breath Thanks for coming just to see me